All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Yeah, I'm here today with cappuccino. This is not mocha today, this is cappuccino. Um, start of the year, I told myself that I want to give, no, do not kiss me. I told myself I want to give my dogs an equal share in life, just, you know, going by the river, taking them to the beach, stuff like that, you know, so that they have a full life. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be doing, um, two dishes but there's going to end up to be one which is going to be uh, creamy mashed potato and um, crispy chicken tenders so I'm going to show you guys how to do both of those um, in today's dish hopefully it turns out great and I hope you guys enjoy this video and remember if you like the content remember to just drop a like on the video I really appreciate it Like a soap and bleach, you know. So today we try to get um, what you call it, the, the nail brush, but we never had that. So you know, and all this stuff are going on here. So be creative and make sure it's so clean under the nails. Um. So you guys can probably buy a nail brush, no problem. First we got the, <laughs> the best part, the breast. <laughs> Alright, so we have our chicken breast here. They, they have everything on it, the rib cage and all that. So I'm going to debone it. Um, yeah, as I said in the video before, it's definitely a bit cheaper. So let's get into that. Usually I find that, um, I don't remember the name of the knife. I think it's called the boning knife. It's normally better, but I left it. So I'm going to try with this, um, this knife here. Hopefully it works out. Alright, so I'm going to do this rough cut because it's been a while since I've... Like with anything, it takes practice and time. So what I normally try to do is to just run along the bone. Again, you might, I might not get it perfect, but Papo is here, so I'll give him the ribs. Or if today I was making um, curry chicken, I would have kept the ribs, because some people like the bony parts. You like the bony part, because I don't know. Yeah, it's the bone part, you get a little crunch crunch. Okay, gotcha. So as you see here, we've pretty much gotten rid of most of the bone so far and we're just running along it. Um, you can find more detailed tutorials on these guys easily. Just go on YouTube, <laughs> you'll find everything. You know, but this is just like the basic parts. Again, I'm not trying to go restaurant quality completely. But if you do want to do that, You'll find that this skill is really helpful because, for example, um, the price of this chicken breast was around $600. And if I bought it um, deboned and everything, it would have cost me maybe about a thousand. So. Alright, and this part as I said you could use it for a lot of stuff. You can, like in Jamaica, we can cut this up and do like chicken back and curry or whatever the case is. Or you can just use this part and make your own chicken stock. So that way you can use it in chicken soup or whatever. Or even this in chicken soup. Let's cut it up and make it look nice. But I'm gonna give that to a cappuccino. That will be the snack for today. Now after I'm done, I'll just it's not necessary to be quite honest, but if you're trying to be a help, just shave away any fat. these parts like this just smooth it as I said I think this is called a chicken tender this part here but I find with chicken sometimes there are already like guiding lines like here you can see that there's a line that shows you already that the chicken is telling you <laughs> this is where you need to you know separate and there you have it Chicken breast bones. Wasn't that hard, right? I know there's always a big debate. People will say, oh, don't give your dog bones, blah, 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 all that stuff. 
And this mode is mostly cartilage and the bones here are pretty pretty thin but go oh boy. Alright, so we have the chicken breast all cut up and everything. So what I'm gonna do right now is just to add a brine to it. Alright, so now we have some coarse sea salt which I'm gonna use to help in the brining process. So again you want the water. It's pretty salty, I think that should be good. And of course you mix it up, mix it up, let that salt dissolve and then just cover it, pop it in your fridge or whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna make this brine too long, maybe for about an hour. This is gonna just help to lock in the flavors and stuff like that and keep the chicken very juicy and tender. Alright, so you guys can check on that burger video, I'll drop it in the link so you guys can see how I make this sauce. So your chicken breast, you can cut it up in any way that you want to, no really matter. Um, for me, I want it to be like strips. So I want it to have um, a longer cut. So I'm just gonna start from here. I want them almost very similar to like chicken fries. That way it's gonna cook really fast. And it's gonna be like finger food, so you can easily take it up, dip it into some sauce, and you're good. I'm not sure if um, this is any special cut or whatever you wanna call it, but yeah. So, I am gonna be doing it. Alright, and we have our seasoning. I did a whole video on the whole season that I did for fried chicken, so you guys can check that out. And, yeah.
Yeah, so someone did ask me in one of my videos, I wonder what he does with the oil. I didn't respond back to the comment. I said that I will talk about it in the next video. So the oil, whenever I cook like chicken in a batch of oil, what I will do when the oil cools back down, I will put it back into the container. Yeah? Because what I find is I don't want to toss oil into the river. I've never done that. I don't want to toss oil into the river and also that chicken that if you do fried chicken in that oil the flavors from that previous fried chicken is going to intensify in that oil so i'm doing fried chicken again today so yeah that's how i basically do it um this idea comes from just uh kfc when kfc is doing um their fried chicken i mean it's the same oil that they're cooking the same chicken for in like days until the oil gets really dark then they know they have to toss it um, so that's not enough oil of course, I know I have um, a fresh batch of oil that I'm going to put into that, that should be enough. And then as always I'll season it with some, uh, some pimento and that should be it. Hey Chino, tapo. Alright guys, so that's the end of it. There we have the mashed potatoes and our crispy chicken tenders. Yo, it's time to eat. Let's do it because okay. 
Yep, it's a good dish. Alright, dig in, tell me what you think, bro. That's some crispy chicken tenders. I'm juicy. Mm -hmm. How about the sauce of tenders? Good? Really good. Alright, so let's try one of these tenders. I know what they taste like already because I cook this all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Mm hmm. I've never had it with this sauce before, but this sauce is banging, bro. Alright, I'm gonna try some of the potatoes really quick. Look at that. Got some black pepper, some thyme. <laughs> that heavy cream sauce with the garlic. On chicken, <laughs> you don't need knife and fork with this. So good, look at that. Tender, juicy. Mm. So good. Alright, so it's basically down to the last tender, man. What do you think about the mash? What do you think about the chicken? It's wonderful. It's real good, it's real good, I'm not even going to lie. And I never lied about any food that has been cooked. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps getting better and better and better and better. <laughs> sauce is magic in there. Are you eating on your potato? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but two of them, to, two of them together. Uh -huh. The sauce, the chicken. Yo, we ate the whole thing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright, so these are the Jamaican snacks we have here. So I'm I'm gonna have this one. It's gonna be my what you call it? My treat. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna have this, but we actually have this here. This is a new thing that I'm gonna be giving away this time. So it's some coffee cookies. Um, to be quite honest, I'm not really a big fan of coffee, but I've had these a couple times. But if you're a coffee fan, you're gonna definitely like these. Great consistency, nice texture and stuff like that. So if you want it, drop in the comments and I can ship this out to you, all right? All right, guys, and that's gonna wrap up another video for today. Um, today's probably like, the most stressful day I've ever had um, doing the crispy chicken and the potatoes at the same time it was crazy but yo we pulled through this video today and the dish was for me fantastic it tasted exactly what i wanted to taste so i'm happy with that i'm just gonna have some of these snacks right now and for you guys who are at home you know doing the situation you know with corona just make sure that you keep yourself safe you know don't go to about in any crowds and stuff like that and just you know try to make the most of it watch youtube watch netflix you know spend some time with your family and stuff like that but anyway guys um remember if you want to snack drop it in the comments or go onto my website remember you see things love nature adaptation and always remember keep the link <laughs>